Hello and welcome to a new video from Digi Design Resort. My name is Monia and in this video I want to show you how to use your assets function in Affinity Designer. In this tutorial I show you how to add your assets, so what I mean is your digital scrapbooking kits into Affinity Designer, which is really great. I know some scrapbooking programs can do that, but now you can do that with Affinity Designer. And usually I say you might have opened your folder with all the images which are included in one kit, but now you have a great overview when we are ready. So Affinity Designer is available at uh, the website of serif.com and you can download a 30 days trial and if you do so you can use this feature already even if you decide not to buy it. So now let's get started. So first of all we start by creating a document. Now we go to view studio and then click on assets and then you see a library here already which is empty right now so click on the plus sign and say create new category and now you can give your category a name just click once again on the plus sign and uh, then you click rename category and now you can say for example digital scrapbooking kit or kids when you want to add more than one you can always rename that later and then we have, you must think of it like a book, and now we have several chapters in our book. So we click again on assets, click rename, and now we give it the name of the kit we want to include. In this case, lemonade and ice cream. And now we just get all the elements and papers from lemonade and ice cream inside that category. Just mark everything from your folder and then drag and drop it into your document. You know, it looks a bit strange and it takes a moment until it's loading, but you will see when it, once it is done. Now you see everything is inside and looks pretty confusing, but don't worry, we just need to drag and drop it into the whole thing. Just click on the plus again, click on add from selection, and then you see it jumping over into your chapter into the whole box now we delete everything we have on the paper here and now you see on the left side everything included in your kit isn't that cool when you now click on the little arrow here in lemonade and ice cream you see that all the elements and papers are inside that chapter if you want to say so and now you can drag and drop it over and just create whatever you want to create if it's a layered or a printable it doesn't matter you can just drag and drop everything into your paper what you have created yeah and that is how you can scrap much easier can't you and then we can also export our assets so if you have too much there it gets slower so we might want to export some everything for now so just give it a name then click export and that's it so now we are going to delete the whole thing and um, then I want to show you I'm going to delete those things as well and then I want to show you how you can easily import them again so delete the category don't worry we get it back in just a second click on the plus sign again and then say import assets and now you just pick what you just exported and load it inside the uh, library once again and it's there again right so you can open it you can close it you can add more than one kit yeah, and then just drag and drop everything over from the left to the right 